What's going on, YouTube folks out there, Facebook friends? My name is Ottomir, and this is the Hard Black Truth. So, yes, I do have this uh, Ray Lewis drive time video, uh, and you will see that shortly. But I, I have to say, uh, before I play this video, um, it, it gets a little, it, it's a struggle. Definitely, as a black man here in the United States of America, it's a struggle sometimes to keep your head up high with all of the crap that we got it's being broadcast coming out of black society it, it is extremely difficult you know, number one we are witnessing damn near on a daily basis our black men being murdered without consequence if it's a black man, all he had to do was startle or scare this white officer, and that's reason enough to justify that black, man, that black man's murder. And there's nothing that's being done about it. It's to the point where they're beating down our women in broad daylight, killing our young women in front of the children. We, we just had a pregnant black woman murdered in front of her children. You don't see the media pouncing on that. And, and we as as black people don't really have the resources to to even make a bunch of noise about that. Literally killing pregnant black women in front of her children. And there's nothing that we as a society can can do effectively in response to that. When black people do stand up and when they do try to talk about this black empowerment stuff, you got to side eye everybody because everyone has an alternate agenda. You don't know whether this person is coming or going. Black Lives Matter soon turned into Gay Lives Matter, which is basically an evolution of All Lives Matter. We just, I just covered a video, I just did a video where we have uh, uh, black males who are dressed up as females running around talking about we're not a joke. Ha <laughs> ha. No end to coons in sight. Or bed wenches for that matter. But I'm going to let you see this video. And I want you to pay attention to the words spoken by Mr. Ray Lewis. And listen after it to, to see if what I say matches your thoughts. How crazy is I'm just leaving set at Fox and got all of these texts and stuff about all of this Colin Kaepernick stuff and all this stuff. Let me explain something to you guys. All right? I'm going to be very simple with this. While a bunch of people are talking about this man, Captain, let me tell you something, brother. I pray for you more than you ever can imagine. All right, your name is in my Bible. That God gives you the vision that you did. I applaud you for the things that you stood up for. My brother, everybody else can speak for you, but until you speak for yourself and demand what you want to do in life, it's totally on you. But it's, it's almost crazy that you see people always trying to respond. Let me tell you something, my man. I've made mistakes in my life, but I promise you, if you look at my track record, the mistakes I've made, I've never repeated twice. You understand? And so what I want to tell you is, from man to man, brother, I ain't got nothing against you. I wish you the best in life. I hope you chase whatever God got for you to chase, all right? And once again, I applaud what you stood up for, because I'm in the streets every day. So my people talking about what this and, and why Ray said this and why Ray said that, Ray ain't saying nothing. And if people really want to help you, if they really want to help you, man, they'll pray for you, brother. All right? They'll lead you the right way and stop encouraging you to be caught up in some of this nonsense. The battles you fight, brother, people way before has been fighting these for many, many, many years. And that's why I take each and every one of these kids. And that's why I take them away from their environments and give them something else to see in life. And that's why I played the way I played. The football field is our sanctuary. 
If you do nothing else, young man, get back on the football field and let your play speak for itself. And what you do off the field, don't let too many people know because they're going to judge you anyway, no matter what you do, no matter if it's good or bad. All right? Cap, be good. Take care of yourself. Brother for life. A lot of people talking for you. A lot of people got your back. Take care of yourself. Peace. So first, I'd like to say shout out to O. Jackson Ali, you know, one of uh, many YouTube folks out there. You know, I see you guys out there in the struggle. Chris Crazy House, a.k.a. Chris Miller, Tarn Rain. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. You got Mr. Superboy out there. You got Nicole's View. There's a few of y'all out there, and I appreciate y'all. Shout out to the Black Channel. Shout out to Tyreek Nasheed, just got his channel uh, uh, back up and running, although he's working on something bigger and better, hopefully, for the rest of us. Professor Black Truth, Jason Black, all you folks out there who are putting out the information that we need to see. Because, as I stated before, there is no end to Coons. Why is it that over the past month or so, because we're, we're nearing, we're approaching uh, the, the start of the NFL season. We're, we're being bombarded with black faces bringing up Colin Kaepernick. Now, Kaepernick is out there doing what Kaepernick has been doing since uh, his, his contract was let go, essentially. And, and nobody in the NFL decided that he was even good enough to try to pick up. We are literally watching white supremacy in effect. Because no one else is standing up speaking for the things he's speaking about. You got owners of NFL teams talking about, yeah, we, we tried them out for a little bit, but, you know, I don't know about the protests. I appreciate, you know, when he took a knee rather than sat down. I mean, we, you, you can't even protest anymore. And I know this is a free country and, and, and you can't force people that own things to give in to you when you hold no power. But right now, as far as I'm concerned, Kaepernick requires our support. And you got these coons out here like Ray Lewis sitting here taking his coonery to the ninth power. Talking about I pray for you're in my body. How condescending a message is that? You're in my Bible. I pray for you. Nigga, please, you don't do a goddamn thing. I don't believe that shit for one second. He's out here talking about how he brings children up out of the hood and shows them a better way of living or whatever. Nigga, please, I don't believe any of that shit. You goddamn coon. I don't believe none of that shit coming from your mouth. From what I've seen from the, from the past couple of years, you's just a damn buffoon. Remember when we had that that uh that uh uprising out there in Baltimore? I want to say he 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 jumped in talking about trying to sound like Martin Luther King, and we can't have this. Not on my clock. Not on my clock. You mean not on your watch, you moron? Shout out to Jason Black. Just remember, he actually said the same damn thing. That's why I get my thoughts from apparently. Fucking moron, not on my, not on my clock. Nigga, you need to clock out. I'm tired of hearing you, Jason Fatman, uh, uh, what was the other one, Michael Vick, all these, all these coons just coming out the wood, woodwork, encouraging Kaepernick to do the hucklebuck. Do the hucklebuck, Kaepernick. Maybe these white NFL owners will let you lap up some of their feces. Miss. Come on, let's do the hucklebuck. Come on, when, when the owner dropped the dookie, you just pick it up now. Do like me now. Come on now, Kaepernick. Be a good nigga. Cut your hair now. The fuck out of here. Every time I've heard Kaepernick, it hasn't been because of some new venture he's, he's done. You know, he's been doing a couple of things in different areas around the world. You know, I'm usually I, I'm used to tuning in on my Facebook and, and hearing another story about what he has done. Okay, but no, lately here, all I'm hearing are these Negro, might as well call them bed winches. This is how moist they've become. This is how effeminate their tactics are. You're out there bed winching. Yo, yo, grown ass black man, but you're out there bed winching. As though you hold any kind of clout. Ray Lewis talking as though he got any kind of clout. Like you own some. Negro, you don't own a goddamn thing. You don't own anything. 
sitting here talking like you. If you be a good Negro, Mr. Kaepernick, they'll let you back in. Now, come on, do the chuck and jive now. Come on now, shake them feet now. Come on, let's move them foots now. Get the hell out of here. Talking about naming the Bible in his Bible and shit. Yeah, and then this isn't even something to bash on Christianity, but it's telling that that this fool reverts all the way back to daggone Negro spiritual man all of a sudden. If the people out there are, uh, cared about you, we would pray. No, you damn fool. If if I had the resources like that. Praying would be the last thing on my mind. I'll make sure I pull together with some other folks who got some resources and we'll make sure that Kaepernick is well cared for. That's what you do for brothers who sacrifice their livelihoods so that you can have a voice. You fucking ingrate. Goddamn bastard. That's what you, you, Jason Fatman and, 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 and Michael Vick, y'all might not be multi-millionaires, but I'm sure you got enough Little money where you could donate to Kaepernick, maybe pay some up towards whatever foundation or thing he's helping to start. I don't see you guys doing that, and I know you're not doing that because you're out there publicly chastising him. That lets me know what you're doing. That lets me know what you're about. And I have no reason to believe that there's any child or fake ass Lewis Center talking about I, I bring the children up out of this because I'm in the I'm in the streets every day. No the hell you you couldn't be in the streets every day talking like that. There's no way you could be in the streets talking about prayer. You walking around with suit and tie get to be on television, but you turn around and talk about prayer. Nah, I have no reason to believe anything that comes out of your mouth at that point. And it kills me that people bring up Christianity, they invoke Christ or they invoke God himself to sit there and, 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 and justify their fuckery. Literally a fucked up mental state. And you're out there portraying it for the world to see, but you want to invoke God and bring God into this. God ain't got shit to do with your buffoonery, you damn idiot. Talking about let let God guide your step or whatever the hell he was trying to say. How how you know that's not Kaepernick's mission? Since you want to talk about God, since you want to be spiritual about it, how do you know that that's not his mission? And if that is his mission, should you not in fact support it? No, instead you want to sit here and give tips and advice on how he should clean up his image so that he can so he can let get back into the NFL so that he could. Kiss enough of white masses ass so that white masses let them back in the NFL. That's what you told me. You ain't talking about God's plan. You talking about following what Massa wants. That's what you talking about. Keep Kaepernick's name out your mouth. Those who care about him actually care about him. But we're not asking for him to change his mind at all. We're not saying disregard us and disregard our plight. We're not saying ignore what the hell is going on so that you can get back into the NFL. We could give a damn. And I'm not an avid NFL viewer, but you, you, you won't see any growth from me. Not this year. Not until something is actually done. Because when I see a black man being ostracized for taking a knee, you took a knee. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't bomb anybody. You didn't hold up traffic. You didn't cause any real disruption. You took a knee during something that is obviously questionable. If you took your time to research it well enough, he took a knee. You guys, man, let me know your thoughts and feelings, man. I could sit here and rant on, on this cone all day long, man, but it's frustrating it's infuriating and sometimes i just feel as though we we continue to take l's when when this dude could sit here with a smug ass look talking about praying to jesus and and all this other shit come on dude you hold no weight you own nothing everything you got is because they give it to you because you chuck and jive for it kaepernick's a perfect example of that 
He decided he was going to take a knee for injustice, and he's not let back into the NFL. So what are you really asking him to do at the end of the day? And you're sitting here talking about this battle that he's trying to fight. Obviously, this battle of, of, of fighting for the justice and, and economic empowerment of his black people. You're talking about this has been going on for the longest time. So has prayer. You moron. So has prayer. So has that condescending ass language about your name is in my Bible and I pray for you more than you know. Who gives a damn what you do as far as mouthing off? If that be the case, talk all that shit that you talk behind closed doors. It makes no sense. And this is what kills me about these idiots out there who profess Jesus or even talk about God because you have no idea what kind of, you have no clue as to what the concept of God is. How could you, when you sit here and declare that you pray for somebody behind closed doors instead of actually doing something tangible, but live on air after making yourself look good or, or trying to, uh, by talking about how you pray and how someone's name is in your Bible, you turn around and bash this brother endlessly, endlessly, constantly. And he's only doing this because he's paying attention to social media. Yeah, I'm talking about Ray Lewis. He's paying attention to all of your comments out there. He's paying attention to all the people that are talking out there. This is why he felt the need to actually say something because we saw that little spat he had with Shannon Sharp and, and Sharp put him in his place, made him look like the moron that he is. Basically brought him back down to, to, to planet Earth. Negro, you don't own nothing and you don't know what you're talking about. And he saw everyone's reaction and everybody sharing that. And he feels as though he has to throw in another two cents. Nigga, keep that change in your pocket and move on. If you got anything to say about brave men like Colin Kaepernick, how about you say that shit behind closed doors with your prayer, motherfucker? And that's all I got to say about that. Lung Ya One here. Peace.